I am Sergei Cherkis, and this is my path to math. So in quantum mechanics, particles behave quite differently from classical mechanics. For example, in classical mechanics, a particle can be trapped in, in a box. While in quantum mechanics, particles have this peculiar property, they can tunnel through barriers. One way of describing this magical tunneling is by particle traveling in imaginary time. And this travel is called the instanton. One of my long-term projects is studying instantons. As a child, I had lots of different interests and I wasn't certain what would attract me more. But mathematics was fairly boring in school because it involved uh, plugging in numbers in the same formulas. And to me, the biggest discovery was uh, when I was sent by our math teacher together with a few other people from the class to a local mathematics Olympiad. And to me, this was a revelation that mathematical problem can be so simple to formulate, unlike anything I've seen in school, and require one coming up with some tricks to solve them. And after that, I was hooked. I was going to math Olympiads, not so much to compete with other kids, but to just enjoy mathematics. When I announced that I want to go to mathematics school, my father was strongly against it because it involves long commute and the school close to the house is good enough. It involved quite a bit of convincing on my part, but I'm glad I succeeded. During high school, I also had another very strong influence. I started attending a research seminar in Moscow University. My other passion was, was physics, and the choice between the two was pretty much made for me. My ethnicity did not quite fit the profile that was preferred by Moscow University. In many ways, mathematics was the tool to overcome the challenges is that even though one could not attend formally as a student, there were all these research seminars in Moscow University and everyone was welcome. It was very democratic. The most important thing, I think, is developing your own taste, your own taste in mathematics or in physics, and then choosing problems according to your taste, not anybody else. Mathematics, just as chess, allows anyone to enter and prove oneself. Your background, your age, none of that matters. It is one common language we can all agree on. A proof is a proof, and then there is no debate about that. So mathematics is not only a place where anyone from any background can show oneself and prove oneself, overcoming all sorts of prejudices, but it's also a language on which we can all agree and communicate. And in addition, it's a beautiful language.